to our waiting partners with Peter. This dance of fashion long ago was danced by all high and low. Couples come and couples go, all hearts with love aglow. Army, army, come join us
sure you will all agree that that rendering was really quite outstanding. And it is, of course, indicative of the standard that has been set in this school. And I'm quite sure that if the other young ladies had an opportunity to, to um, show their standards, it would be equally high. And now I have very much pleasure in calling upon the chairman of the West Sussex Education Committee, Brigadier Thwaites, who will move a vote of thanks to the mayoress. But just before I call upon Brigadier Thwaites, may I say on behalf of the council and the Education Committee how much we appreciate the wholehearted cooperation that we receive from the county. We often have to, we feel, on the council anyway, criticise the county, but I'm sure we never have any reason to criticise them as far as the Education Committee is concerned. They are deeply interested in Worthing, always have been just as interested in Worthing as they are in other parts of the county, and it is therefore with the greatest possible pleasure that I call upon the Brigadier to move the vote of thanks. Thank you. It's my happy privilege to move a vote of thanks to the Mayoress for performing this opening ceremony so graciously. Now, I don't know if you realize it, but she was only told at 12.30 this morning that she was required to perform this ceremony. Now, I think for most of us, that would have been sufficient cause to go sick. It certainly <laughs> would have for me. And I felt myself a little bit daunted when I turned up here and found that the ceremony, the opening ceremony, was going to be performed by somebody different to whom I had expected, because I myself am not a very easy or fluent speaker from platforms, and I always work out beforehand what I'm going to say. <laughs> and what I was going to say is not really strictly applicable to this circumstance. <laughs> well, uh, however, I have got one or two things to say. The first place, uh, I think you're awfully lucky in the borough of Worthing to have a charming Lady Mares who can step into the breach like this and perform this sort of job so splendidly. Yeah. Now, <laughs> it is most appropriate that this new secondary school for girls should be opened by a charming lady. And if I may say so, without being offensive, a charming young lady. <laughs> <laughs> now, this, this new school is intended to give the children who come here as good an education as their abilities can absorb. Our ideal, the ideal of the Education Committee, both the county and at Worthing, is that our secondary schools, and we don't stress the word modern nowadays, that our secondary schools shall give their pupils a good general education and that they shall provide the opportunity for those children who have the ability to go just as far with their education as they would have had the chance of going if they had shown the academic promise at the age of 11 plus to be posted to a high school. Now, I don't know if I'm clear about that, but it is a new conception of the secondary school, and we hope very much that we will be able to bring it into effect. And to do so, of course, it is a challenge to youth. And for that reason, it's a good omen that this school has been opened by somebody young. Now, this is a beautiful school. It's the first uh, of your secondary schools that has been built here 
it's worth recording that when it was in process of building, uh, I was told when I went to a meeting over at the technical high school that somebody had said, what a lovely school the technical high school was, and, but what a pity somebody was building a factory just next door to it. <laughs> well, <laughs> now we've seen the factory, and I hope this, I like the products of the factory that I see there, and, and I hope that the factory will fulfill its promise and produce a bigger and better output consistently. and calling upon the head girl, Daphne Bowles, to second the vote of thanks. Daphne Bowles. <coughs> Your Worship, Madam Mayoress, ladies and gentlemen, I, on behalf of the school, have very much pleasure in seconding the vote of thanks. We are indeed grateful to the Mayoress for coming at such short notice. We would like to welcome you on such an important occasion in the history of our school. I have spent over seven years at the old school, and I think that I can appreciate, perhaps more than some of the younger girls, the excellent facilities that are now available to us. Many girls, including myself, have worked for public examinations, and I might add successfully, in a damp and noisy cloakroom. And now it is a real pleasure to be able to walk along the top floor and find two, if not three, completely empty classrooms. Although we have only been here for six weeks, this new building is so wonderful that all the trials and tribulations of the old seem to have receded very quickly into the background. I would like to thank you once more, Mayoress, for coming. Thank you very much. And that is why I have so much pleasure in seconding the vote of thanks. Worship, Morris, ladies and gentlemen, we are greatly honoured today by having the Worship the Mayor as our chairman. We are indebted to him for ably presiding at our proceedings. We are also greatly honoured to have the Mayoress with us, and I would, on behalf of the Education Committee, like to thank her very much for ably stepping into the breach as she did at a moment's notice. I would like to make brief reference to the present school and the former one. It will be admitted that the housing of these children in buildings which offered no faculties for the wider education envisaged today was discouraging. But I am sure you will feel very proud of the tremendous range of subjects and activities of a building such as this. The dreams of teachers, the joy of children, and the hopes of parents have at long last been met by the imaginative provision of the authorities for their realisation. The door of opportunity has been ajar for a long time, and I venture to think that at last it is open in a way that our grandfathers never dreamt of. Now, there is one man who I would like to see on the platform today. He is sitting in the front row, and I refer to Councillor Kenton. This school was planned and started when he was my predecessor as chairman of the Education Committee. And I would like to say that we owe him a great debt of gratitude for all the work he did put into it. I'm sure he is a very proud man sitting here today to see the results of his work. <laughs> you will have the opportunity, and I hope you will take it, after this ceremony of inspecting the school. See the house craft rooms, the art and craft rooms, the rooms for commerce, needlework, drama, music, geography, where the aptitude of the pupils can be fully developed, whether it be with a view of preparing for a ground of academic distinction or the apron of a housewife. On behalf of all the guests here assembled, 
I have now great pleasure in moving a vote of thanks to His Worship the Mayor and the Mayoress for their attendance at this ceremony. I'd like to call on Ms. Sylvia Sanderman to second the vote of thanks. Your Worship, Madam Mayoress, ladies and gentlemen, I, on behalf of the school, have great pleasure in seconding the vote of thanks so warmly proposed by Councillor Edwards to His Worship the Mayor for his talk to us this afternoon. I feel sure that His Worship has a keen interest in this school as it starts on a new stage in its career. We have a bright future before us and all the advantages of modern education, which few of our parents had. So we must make the full use of these advantages and become the type of citizens that this modern atomic age will need. I sincerely hope that all the work done in this school will be helped and maybe even inspired by this wonderful building. So I have much pleasure in seconding the vote of thanks to His Worship and saying thank you to him for coming. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, will you kindly rise for the national anthem? Thank you. 
the opportunity of everyone to visit the school. Presently, when the mayor's party has proceeded along, smaller parties will be formed, and if we go out to the foyer, a teacher or a prefect will accompany the small party around the school. Eventually, we should like the adults to return for a cup of tea. We can't accommodate all the young ladies. Their day will be similar. Thank you very much. <laughs>